proud of doing uh, the video with Vernon. Um, let him hate the video. Okay, action. Anitra! What? Why are you walking away from me, girl? Why are you walking away from me? Girl, stop. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Why are you walking away from me? I told you she was nobody. Man, you lying, man. I'm not lying. Yes, How much I gotta tell your ass? She was nobody. Damn. All right, you know what? Let's go back. I have a book coming out. Um, it's called Revelations of the Untold Truth. I'm also um, a spoken words artist. I go to different places and, and speak oh. poetry. If you want to see a sample of my work, you can go to www.youtube.com slash Or you can type in Katrina or We Are Victims uh, to see a sample of Revelations. That's one of the points that I have in the book. And I did a video. So you'll be able to see it um, and some other videos that will be coming out soon. So, uh, if you like that, then hit me up. You got to pause and stuff. <laughs> like, I'm like an album cover color <laughs> going there. But, uh, like, maybe say uh, your name and uh, maybe a little something about yourself, and then I'll, I'll cut it. And if you want to think it up or whatever, but uh, I'll give you a topic. And see if how you go off and get get mad at somebody. Okay. All right. So, whenever you're ready. Okay. My name is Anitra Hall. I'm a poet slash author slash model, and I'm also starting my acting career. Um, I also do spoken words in around the Houston area, and I also write children's books. I'm coming out with a novel called Revelations: The Untold Truth, and um, my uh, little children's stories. The series is called My Little Princess, so I'm looking forward to all of that. And I'm collaborating on some other projects with other people. So, so tell me one thing, you know, since our whole su subject of this, this uh, promotion is about hating, mm -hmm. what, what kind of experiences are you, do you run into as a model and a, and a, and a writer uh, and, and somebody that looks good as far as hating is concerned? Any experiences you can Matter of fact, I was just talking about that and I'm right up here. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I have friends. Sometimes your friends, you can't say much to them because um, they instead of being happy for you whenever something good happens, they hate on you and there's no need to. And so and sometimes they like to have control of you in your situation and everything. And when they feel like they don't have any control of that, then they start acting irate and getting all, you know, a lot of drama starts happening, which right. is unnecessary drama. So, yeah, but um, I'm just, you know, I'm pulling away from you all those people that act like that, so I don't have time for that, you know, especially, you know, people, you know, they see a pretty woman and they look good or whatever, and depending on, you know, I say like this, anybody could look good, and if you take the time to fix yourself up and do what you got to do, but if you don't, then I can't do nothing about that, because regardless of how you feel, I'm going to step out anyway, I'm, you know, I'm going to step out and I'm going to look good every single time. Mm -hmm. um, so, it's 3.47 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And you hear that door squeaking open. You know the commercial where the dude's getting undressed and his wife wakes up. She's like, "You're just getting home." And he like starts putting his clothes on, like he's uh, he's uh, about to leave, like he woke up early. You know which one I'm talking about? You haven't seen that? No. That's hilarious, man. Like the dude is out partying or something, and he like he's coming home trying to be all quiet. His wife is in bed asleep. He's trying to ease his pants off, and she wakes up and he starts pulling them on, like he's just <laughs> just getting dressed. She's like, "You're just getting home." He's like, "Nah, I gotta go in early because uh, <laughs> so it's." Uh, so it's it's one of those scenarios where dudes trying to creep in, and and, uh, and you waiting for him. Wow. Okay. So I'm gonna this time. Hey, I'm I'm scared you're gonna be mad. So I ain't saying that. Where the hell have you been? It's three forty something in the morning, and you just getting home. What is wrong with you? We supposed to have trust and honesty and communication. What happened to that? And you wanna come home at this time? Man, forget this. Okay. Okay. Plus, I heard she told him like she was pregnant to, to, so that he wouldn't leave. It. In love? They're not in love. Cause her man was trying to get with me last night. Now they all together. She ain't had no baby. You know what I'm saying? They've been together two years. Where the baby at? They talking about they gonna go get a new car. They went to the used car lot and got that Escalade. That ain't balling. That's what I wanna know. You know what I'm saying? What she having? A grown man? She gonna have a grown an adult? When the baby come out, it's gonna be about 17. That's all I'm saying. I ain't hate.
hate about us Got them hate People talk They're gonna say what they say Me and you On that grapevine every day Fake places when we go places No room or ever replaces What we've had What I'm feeling for you Comes our way, baby. It's me and you against the gossip. No matter what they try to make up, my love for you will never let up. It won't change. So never give a damn what they say about us. Let them hate. I know that we don't give a damn what they think about us, baby. Let them hate. You know what I mean? All the ice, bro. You ain't balling at all, man. 